We have a marginal to slight risk for severe weather today through portions of the plains. We now have a 70% chance for cyclone formation out in the tropical Atlantic over the next seven days. And the Euro and GFS do see the potential for cooler air to return to the plains and out east. It's September 14th, 2025. Let's get into the weather updates. As I said, we're watching the chance for severe weather today, stretching all the way from the southern plains to the northern plains. From north central Kansas all the way up through North Dakota, we do have a 2% tornado risk and then a slightly higher 5% tornado risk through portions of central North Dakota. Just based on the reflect Activity, we do see the chance for a lot of supercellular activity as we move through the day today. We see those SIGTOR parameters stretching all the way from Kansas, as I said, up through portions of Minnesota and the Northern Plains. And with a good amount of surface cape, there is going to be a lot of instability here, so it is best to keep your weather alerts on if you are out here today. Our latest American model does see quite a strong hurricane forming out here in the Atlantic, although it just pulls it out to sea. The European model actually brings it a little bit closer to the coast, so I'll pay attention to it, but for right now, there's no reason to worry. The Euro GFS and Canadian do see signs in about 10 to 14 days of some cool air turning to the plains and out east. With our NAO looking like it's going to be trending negative, a potentially negative Arctic oscillation, and a positive PNA, the end of September may see a return to cold air, as I said, for the plains and out east. That's what the models are pointing towards right now, and if that changes, I'll let you know. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like this type of content, feel free to throw me a follower sub. I make posts like this every day, and I stream five days a week to try and answer all of your questions. I'll see you in the next video.